everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I have a Dragon Ball Super review for you. We'll be taking a look at the rest of Wave 1 of the Dragon Star series. Super Saiyan Goku and Beerus, or Lord Beerus as he's usually known on the show. Uh, so previously I reviewed uh, Vegeta by himself because it was the only one I could find at the time. Uh, these kind of had a weird release where I expected to eventually find them at Walmarts and Targets. But it's not really the case. The first place I ever saw them was GameStop. Uh, because they deal in a little bit more like specialty figures and stuff like that. But they have finally started showing up at uh, Toys R Us, which is where I picked these up. And also Walgreens stores are carrying these. So if you're looking for these, if you're having trouble finding them, those are the places to check out. GameStop, Toys R Us, and uh, Walgreens. Now I get them at Toys R Us when I can because usually I have a coupon or 10% off for Thursdays or something like that. It seems to be the cheapest place to find them. But I haven't really found any good sales or anything yet for these guys. So they're $19.99 so I kind of got stuck. I think I paid a couple dollars less a piece just because I had like a 10% off or something like that. So it wasn't monumental but it wasn't bad. They look like really nice figures. The Vegeta I already reviewed looked pretty good. Take a look on the back here. You can see Super Saiyan Goku, Vegeta, and Beerus. The uh, top three are Wave 1, these three are Wave 2. It's kind of a bummer that, you know, you have to buy separate figures of Super Saiyan and regular Goku. I kind of wish it was something like Marvel Legends where they just, you got Super Saiyan Goku and then they just included like a regular Goku head and you could just pop the head on and change it out so you didn't have to buy a whole second figure. The coloring is different. Uh, when he's in Super Saiyan, the color of his gi is a lighter orange. When he's regular Goku, it's a darker orange, so something to make it worth having two versions of Goku. Um, I don't know. I mean, to me, I could understand having, like, orange gi Goku with two different heads, and then obviously having, like, his other orange gi that's different for the new one for Super, and then have a regular Goku head and a Super Saiyan Blue head for that. That's personally how I would have liked it, but... You know, they're kind of exploiting us, making us buy two different versions of each of these main characters. Uh, if you care about the Build-A-Figure of Shenron, you're going to have to buy all of them. Which I did. I'm a sucker. So anyway, pretty cool art here on the side. Just part of the window there. I like all the, like, embossed lettering. It's kind of raised. It's this nice silvery. Uh, it's really nice packaging. And I've heard some people say, like, well, forget the packaging, put the extra money into the figure. And I get that. But at the same time, you know, it's nice packaging. At least we get that. Uh, the Beerus figure, I think, looks really cool. First time getting a figure of this character. So very, very cool there. Um, packaging is pretty much identical. So without further ado, let's get these guys out of the box and let's take a closer look. All right, so we got Super Saiyan Goku and Lord Beerus out of the box. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with them. I uh, I definitely think they're good figures, just like the Vegeta that I reviewed previously. Uh, taking a quick close-up here for Goku. I mean, really nice detail, the paint effects and everything. I know it's kind of hard to see because his hair casts so much of a shadow. Um, but the eyes look good. The detail on the face, I think, looks pretty sharp. It looks pretty good. The hair itself looks fantastic, in my opinion. Really sharp. I like that a lot. And it's a nice kind of compromise between yellow and gold. I remember the old Japanese figures had like either solid gold hair or like super yellow hair. And I feel like this is kind of a nice happy medium between the two. Uh, the paint and everything, the detail for the rest of his costume, mostly you see it kind of in the shoes. And you can see there is a little bit of paint bleeding on the shoes, for at least on mine. I'm sure that's just mine. But overall, they still look pretty sharp. I kind of wish there was a swivel here where the actual boot met, but no big deal. You do get a ball joint, of course, in the ankle. Two joints in the knee, as you can see there. You have this kind of joint for the leg that you can kind of pull it out so you can get like high kicks and stuff like that. But then you can kind of push it back into the joint if you just want him to stand there, which is kind of neat. Uh, for the, I guess this is two joints. It's like a ball joint in the waist. You can see his uh, sash in the middle there is kind of loose in between and it'll move around, which kind of gives it a good effect. You can get some nice, uh, it's like an ab crunch plus a little bit, which you can have him completely turned to the side. Pretty nice. Uh, shoulder joint, typical shoulder joint. You have in and out movement like that. Spin it around. Mine's a little tight, but it can move. Uh, bicep swivel, 
two joints in the elbow and they feel pretty fluid. I feel like that's really nice. It's one thing that I feel like the Bandai figures have over Marvel Legends because Marvel Legends elbows always worry me. They're always kind of bent a little bit to the side or they seem kind of frail. These are really nice and fluid. I really like that. The Power Ranger figures are the same way. And then you have the uh, you know ball joint for the fists as well as the joint in the, you can see the joint there in the wrist. Uh, the hands pop off fairly easily. Just pop it right off. Grab one of the other hands that they provide for you. If I can get it to pop back on. I'm just bad at it. Alright. It's kind of because of how the... You have to pop this at the right angle. And that's just my fault. Obviously this is so you can do the Kamehameha. So I'll see if I can actually get him in that pose. Let me zoom back out here a little bit. So let's see. He's going to want to do bring this in, bring this one across. Pretty close. Pretty neat. You can do something like that. You could even bring this around so he can put his two hands together like he's charging it. And then I can't quite line it up. I mean, you probably could, and I'm just really bad at it. But you can see there that the two, those two hands are definitely given so that he can do the Kamehameha. He kind of needs, like, one hand to be out and then the other one to kind of meet it. Well, again, I'm just bad at posing, so... <laughs> Don't judge the figure on my inability to pose. But that's definitely, you know, it's there. The two hands are there to effective get that across I guess that's not terrible again I'm just bad at it so you can, you can see where I'm going in any case it's a nice figure really nice posability and I think he overall looks really really good moving on to Lord Beerus really the same I mean the detail on him is really nice all the gold paint is sharp he has his earring, which looks nice. The face sculpt is well done. I'll get a little bit closer there so you guys can see that with his little snout. I mean, all the paint around here looks really good. You have his sash down here in the front. He's got the same articulation as Goku, ball joint here in the, in the ankle. And because of the way he has this gold ring, it's so seamless. That, that joint is so well hidden. It looks perfect. Um... You have the two joints in the knee, just like Goku. In fact, his pants are very similar to Goku's, as you can see. And he's got kind of the same deal with the legs. And then you can kind of push him back up. Uh, his torso uh, really just... I guess it, it is on a ball joint. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing as Goku's. It can go up and down and side to side. Although mine's kind of tight. And I don't think anything's wrong with it. I think it's just me being afraid to move it around a whole lot. <laughs> Uh, typical shoulder joints. Now, as far as I can tell, no bicep swivel, which I'm guessing it has something to do with just his arm being so thin. That's my guess. But you do get the two joints here in the elbow. You get the same wrist joints as everyone else. You can move the hand around and also um, the joint moves up and down. And he also comes with two alternate fists or hands, I should say, not fists. But he also has tail articulation, so you can move the tail all the way around. And he looks good. I really do like both of these figures a lot. I think these are some of the best Dragon Ball figures we've ever gotten. I mean, they have a kind of a nice... They kind of created this base mold for the Power Ranger figures with the articulation and everything. And then they were able to apply it to this line, which I think was a stroke of genius. Because, you know, like these are some of the best non art figures... For Dragon Ball that I've ever seen. I mean, when you think about like the original Japanese figures from the 80s and 90s, these have come such a long way, and they're really nice representations of the characters. My inability to pose them, notwithstanding, because I'm not super great at coming up with poses. But you can kind of do something. I'm just bad at it. But they have a lot of potential. <laughs> I'm the worst. Anyway, these figures are great. Uh, I really like both of them. I think they look fantastic. I think the posability is all there. 
The paint's sharp. Everything about it is nice. They even come with extra hands. Um, you know, not 100% necessary, but appreciated. Very cool there. But that's not all they come with. They also have a Build-A-Figure component. Alright, so it's kind of funny. Uh, Goku comes with the head of Shenron, which looks really great, I have to say. I've always loved uh, the design of Shenron with the antlers or, or antenna, whatever term you want to use, uh, made of twigs. I think that's such a cool design. Um, but yeah, so this looks really great. The head looks fantastic. You have the whiskers here looking fantastic. The teeth, everything's painted very nicely. Um, and then Beerus comes with this and the stand, so definitely quite an upgrade over the piece that Goku comes with. So you can see here, and the nice thing is you can see how that is shaped, and then you have the hole there, so you can't put it in wrong or upside down or anything like that. So you just go ahead and pop this in. And that doesn't quite snap in, but it fits in pretty well. I think you could take it back out if you had to. And then I'm going to bring in, this is the piece that came with Vegeta. And once again, you can see how the shapes line up. So you're going to go ahead and pop this piece in here. And it's a little tight or difficult just because with the spikes and everything, it's kind of hard to get a good grip on this to push it in. <laughs> but there you go. So we got that in. So you can see we got part of Shenron going here. We got some hands, we got a head with some a neck going on. And then the stand piece, eventually, um, this right here is going to rest on this. And that's just kind of like a base for the head. So that kind of slips there like that. <laughs> now, unfortunately, you have these pieces which are meant to catch the tail, but I just I don't have enough of the figure yet. So this is going to peg there, and then I guess, I have to look at the instructions very quickly. Um, Beerus does come with these lovely instructions which teaches you how to put the whole dragon together and then put the stand together. So yeah, it looks like, unfortunately, the parts that they're meant to hold up I just don't have yet. So that's why he's falling down, because <laughs> I don't have the rest of the dragon that will uh, fit into these pieces here and here. But it's pretty cool that it comes with a stand, because I did not know that it did. So I'm happy to have that. So we have a decent little amount of Shenron so far. Uh, the rest of the pieces are going to come with uh, Wave 2, which I also have and will probably review fairly soon. Um, that wave is regular Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and uh, Frieza's, well, final form for Dragon Ball Z, but fourth form because he later on gets the golden form so but very very cool I really I like this so far it looks really good so I really like these a lot I know if you're a Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z fan out there you probably already have Goku and Vegeta figures of some sort uh, Beerus is probably brand new to you but it's worth buying again in my opinion because these are really nice figures they're probably the best non figure art figures we're gonna get of these characters really sharp paint Really nice articulation. They're a good size. The accessories they come with are nice. You have the Build-A-Figure Shenron. I mean, they're pretty perfect. The only thing, if I had to nitpick as a personal preference, I kind of wish they each came with like one Dragon Ball. I really do like the Build-A-Figure Shenron, but I kind of want to have the seven Dragon Balls to kind of put underneath him so it looks like he's rising out of them. Also, just to kind of have the accessories, some like really nice kind of you know just each each of them have one clear dragon ball with the star in the middle i think would have been a really nice touch um i remember the original japanese figures had this kind of just like solid orange plastic with the stars printed on them and i think even the Irwin toys that came about in like the late 90s 2000s had those as well um but it would have been nice just to have these guys each come with one dragon ball uh especially if it was even if it was just like or maybe later on we'll get something like this but a a cluster of all the Dragon Balls put together like in scale that you could put underneath Shenron uh, that may be attached to the base or something. There's no peg hole for it or anything like that, but I'm just making stuff up as I go along. Would have been neat. Uh, in any case, for what you get, I think it's pretty good. Yes, they're $20 a piece and some people might balk at that price, but that seems to be kind of the standard pricing for six to six and a half inch figures now. You have the Black Series for Star Wars, you have Marvel Legends, these, the Power Rangers Legacy Collection, so 
that's kind of par for the course. So I don't really think it's bad for price. And I think what you get is pretty good. Nice figures, nice articulation, paint, detail, a couple of extra accessories. All in all, I think it's a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the rest of Wave 1 of the Dragon Star series, uh, Super Saiyan Goku and Beerus. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.